Welcome back to the Senators Franchise Mode. We are currently sat at 29, 25, and 7, which is good enough for 6th place in the Atlantic Division. 65 points, and we are going for it. We're going to try to push and get in the playoffs in year number 1. I did not realize how little draft picks the Ottawa Senators have. That is concerning. I probably should have checked that out, but I didn't. It is what it is. Um, There's also a comment that had a lot of really helpful information. I'm going to update our scouts real quick, get rid of AHL scouts, and try to get more in the CHL and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. We'll use the power of video editing, and I'll be right back. All right, the AHL scouts have been canned, and I've offered contracts to another OHL, WHL, and two QMJHL scouts. So, we'll see where that takes us, and for now... Let's go make a trade, shall we? I did see some comments saying, obviously, we need to upgrade our defense. Our goalie wasn't doing so well, so we do need a goalie upgrade. And maybe packaging Gustafson and Brodeen. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Let me go over there and show you why that is exactly. Because there's not too much I'm willing to give up. And we don't have a lot of draft picks. So it's going to be hard enough just to get the goalie. But let's add in Brodeen. Let's go to goalies here and add in Phil. So, there you go. Pretty decent trade value right there. And if we go to our draft picks down here, which I was planning to use, we have a fourth for this year. And three sevenths. Very useful. So, yeah. Um, we'd probably have to give up our next year's first in order to get this to go through. Even with a second, it's still not even close. And we have to give up another goalie. So, I don't know who I'd give up here. Maybe Corby Salo, because 1.3 is not doing too well. We'd also have to get rid of a skater, which I don't know who I want to get rid of. If I go to skaters matching the block, like, we could get rid of Ridley here. But do I want to do that? Not particularly. And the value still isn't there. So, instead, what I think we're going to have to do is just go after a goalie here and hope for the best. That's pretty much all we can do. I wonder if we can try to sneak in a pick here as well. If I go to draft picks, could I try to get... There's not really a whole lot going on here either. What about a fourth? I still think that tips the scale over the edge and it won't happen, but we could try it. So basically, we're upgrading from an 83 overall goalie with a 905 save percentage to a goalie with a 917 save percentage. Medium starter, he's only 24. And we're going to be getting a fourth, maybe? Let's see. Propose the trade. Rejected. Yeah, okay. That is to be expected. What about a fifth? We might really be pushing our boundaries here. There we go. All right, so we've upgraded our goalie. I think that's really all we're going to do for this year. And just have a Hail Mary post-trade deadline. Hoping for the best. Because it's going to be tough to get a defenseman. With no draft picks, and there's no one I really feel like giving up at the moment. There he is, back in the lineup, Philip Gustafson. Then we've got Anton Forsberg. If we go to our even strength, still got the plus three and the plus two, which is really nice. Norris would be, hmm. He's got the medium top six. I could play him there. He's a centerman, but he's listed as a second line forward, so that could help him grow. Do we have any slash center here? No, we do not. Shane Pinto is a C, but then this line gets dummied. It almost might be worth it, though. It really... Oh, okay, we're doing that. Sorry, Alex. You're getting bumped down for now because we got a plus one here, and Norris got moved up, and it is a plus three still. So that is a thing of beauty. He shoots right, but he's center slash left wing. What if I do that? Norris. Oops. What are your face off? What is your face off? There we go. 81. Oh, Giroux's got 90. Okay, never mind. Get back there. You are staying in the middle. Defensively, Shabbat and Chikrin still got the plus three. I do want to try to trade for some defensemen. I feel like it's too early to give up on Brandstrom. I don't want to. Although he is causing some issues. We need to find a D-man that really fits this coach's chemistry. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm probably just going to trade for a random low overall defenseman and kind of hope for the best. But yeah, so that was our big move. Now let's go ahead 
simulate a day and get into the trade deadline i suppose advanced day keep our current trading block and enter the deadline show me the defenseman a low overall defenseman that we can get pretty easily don't want top 10 players can i sort by defenseman at all is there a way to do that i guess i could just go back to the trading block right yep here we go okay let's see what we can find here nope that's our trading block <laughs> never mind fine trade is that really it fine trade maybe no it does this oh my word okay you know what we're just gonna have to go through one by one it kind of looks like truthfully guys there's not a lot of options here so i think we either have to decide to trade brandstrom or simply just stick with what we have and obviously i'm not gonna go out on a whim here and trade brandstrom without some consulting from the fan base so i think we're gonna leave our team as it is for now we're just gonna update the goalie upgrade i should say already updated after the upgrade and yeah maybe we'll just simulate see what happens i also want to see if there's any contracts that are running up because i haven't looked at that yet either so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here boom exit the trade deadline we aren't making any moves we added a goalie right before and that's it that's all so we've got a big trade here mckenzie Weger headed to joyzy in exchange for those guys <laughs> There you go. And I think that is it. Yeah, it's the only blockbuster trade. So, what did I want to do? Roster. How do I view contracts? There it is. Found it. And we have Tarasenko on a one-year deal. All right. He does want to re-sign. He's making 3.7. And he wants 6. So, that's probably not going to happen. I will wait and see. Alex can qualify these guys. But what do you want? 1.8. Hmm. This is kind of tempting. But should I just give him the one-year bridge deal? And he can have like a prove-yourself kind of year. Shane Pinto looking for a cheap contract, I would imagine. Yeah, 1.5. So we got a lot of players here that can be on prove-yourself contracts. Yeah, Brandstrom wants like nothing. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Holden... You're not getting re-signed. Broussard, you're not getting re-signed. Gambrell, maybe. Let's see what you're looking for here. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Watson, I would like to bring back, but his extension status is no. And I don't particularly feel like overpaying him. We could get another tough guy. That's not, you know, too big of a deal. Other than that, though, yeah, we're kind of chilling for contracts. What if I go to goalies? Anything going on here? Gustafson. Yeah, we do got it. He doesn't want an extension either. Oh, come on, man. Whatever. I'll wait for the offseason and hopefully get him back. I would really like to have him back on the team. Tarasenko is someone that I would like to bring back as well. But we'll see when we get to the offseason. I'm going to actually offer these guys the one-year deals. As I mentioned, a prove-yourself contract. Offer contract extension. There you go. Shouldn't take me too long to decide. Yeah, they clearly want to come back. Brandstrom as well. I think I am going to give him the three years at 1.65. He should accept that, I feel like. Yep. All right. And those are the only contracts I'm going to offer for now. So let's go back here. And I suppose we can continue the simulation. Will the Ottawa Senators make the playoffs? Or will we miss out on year one? I really hope we don't miss out because... We have no draft picks at all until the fourth round. So the first draft is going to be pathetic. Next year, we don't even have a second anymore. I think it goes a first round and then right to fourth. Oh, well, we're in an interesting spot here. But you know what? We're going to make it work. All right, Sens. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. The playoff push. How? Oh, okay. I guess all the scouts are going to come up and interrupt me. <laughs> They signed really quick, actually. But, yeah, I don't really think you guys are going to be doing a whole lot considering we don't have a good draft pick. So we got Shane back. We got Eric back. We got Alex back. There you have it. And we lose two straight games out of the deadline. Things you literally love to see. We do go on a bit of a tear here, though. Oh, yeah? Five games in a row? Six games in a row? Holy! Still sixth in the division, though. Come on! 
Oh, it's going to be tough to make. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be really tough to make that up. It's possible, but it's going to be... No, stop losing games. The Ottawa Senators fail to make the playoffs in year number one. That is pure devastation. Wow. 79 points out of Jimmy. You know what? Doesn't matter. Next year's our year. We are absolutely set for next season. I mean, not really, but I'm going to try to convince myself that we are. Let's look at some stats here and see what went wrong. So, we finished with 90 points. I've seen teams make it into the playoffs in their division with 88. So, to be fair, pretty solid season. Just very unfortunate that we had a strong division. Like, let's look at some other divisions here. Central. Yeah, we would have made it. What about the Metro? No, not even close in the Metro. Pacific. Also would have made it. So the East is really stacked. Let's see where we finished in the entire league. We are down here somewhere. Okay, so we finished top 16. There you have it. And these Western teams making it in shouldn't be, but they are because playoff system. Jimmy, almost point a game and a plus 26. Tara Sank show, 76 points plus 23. Sharu also had 76 points, was a plus six. And Brady did well. Yeah, I don't know what went wrong here, but something did. Our defense did not do great. Gustafson did finish with a 9-17. I'm a little bit nervous to see what he had just for us here. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me? That is an absolute joke and a half. We did definitely see some player growth. I'm just going to sim to the end of the playoffs here. Get it out of the way. Who is going to take home the ultimate prize in year number one? Okay, let's continue on here. Still eight teams remaining. I imagine not though. It takes a while to update over there. And it is the New York Rangers. Stanley Cup champions. The Manitoba Moose are your Calder Cup champs. All right. Let's carry on here, and I mean, we're going to draft, but I don't plan on moving up for any picks. I'll say that, okay? It's just going to be a weak draft for this year, and I'm sticking with our team going into next year. No fire sale. As I said, we are pretty close to NHL 24, so we're not doing a rebuild. That'll take far too long. We're trying to go for it now. Obviously, we could try to get some good draft picks that could be here in a year or two. But I severely doubt we're going to get that in the fourth round. Still going to give it a shot, though. All right. Let's sim up to the draft day, then. Montreal gets the first pick. There you go. The overall draft lottery. Oh, wow. Look at that. Arizona via the Ottawa Senators <laughs> gets the 14th pick. Carry on. Okay. And we will view the retired players. What do we got here? Shea Weber. Yep, that checks out. Close to 600 points. Ryan Kessler. Andrew Ladd. So it's draft time. No surprise here. Connor Bedard goes first overall to the Montreal Canadiens. And then we've got Fantilli, medium franchise, going to the Columbus Blue Jackets, which, yeah, he did go there, to be fair. Carlson, medium elite, goes to the Blues. Will Smith. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and sim to our pick, which is 110. Hooray. Maybe we'll find something. Unlikely, but possible. Sort by the potential. Nothing here looks promising. Oh, no. I mean, to be fair, 110. I really doubt that medium elite is true. I saw a top nine guaranteed. So, yeah, basically guaranteed medium top nine. Supposed to go at 116. So I'm definitely going with this guy over the 100% not medium elite in Marcel. Can't see any abilities or anything like that, of course, because I don't know. I guess I got to turn auto scouting on. I thought it was already on. Crap, I forgot to do that. But okay. Anyway, uh, Jesse, pretty much guaranteed a medium top nine player here. Just make the selection. Yeah, there we go. Which... It's still not great, but it's okay. Marcel is a medium bottom six. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was worth it. 
Sim options. Sim to pick 142. Start by potential again. I think we might be able to get a top six defender as well. Yep, there we go. In Co and also Philip Burrish. Two defenders. Now, do we. Oh, I want this guy. Absolutely. He's six foot five, left defenseman, a defensive defenseman at that. Roberto, welcome to the squadron. You are now an Ottawa Senator. 80, or sorry, 80, I wish. I don't know what's going on today. I've had to cut so much out because my brain is not working at all. I have no idea why, but it is what it is, you know? All right, 49 overall, not 80. Maybe if we had one of the top 10 picks, which we most certainly didn't. Burrish is still here, so I'm going to draft him as well. Get another top six defender in there. 46 overall. Oh my word. All right, Sim to pick 206. We are now in the seventh and final round of the draft, which means I'm going for a Hail Mary. Hmm. Fitzpatrick. So let's go at 230. Scouted a little bit here. Or we get... No, we don't need another defender. I'm absolutely sending it on Ned Fitzpatrick. Here we go. Wish me luck. He is a low top six. That's not bad for the seventh round. We have another one, really. Okay. So we get a second chance here at a blind draft pick. Luke, maybe? Dadanov is supposed to go at 305. Okay, you know what? Let's send it with Marcus. Boom. There you go. He is a... Yeah. Didn't expect that to work out. But we are officially... Come on! We have the very last pick of the draft. That is insanity. Should we go with like a safe one here? Basically a guaranteed medium fringe starter. Could do that. Bottom six forward. Ah, let's go with the goalie. Sure. We do have some decent goalies already. He is medium fringe starter. 40 something overall though. That is gross. Not a successful draft, but considering where we were, I will in fact call that a W. Resign phase. Here we are. All right. Tarasenko still wants to resign and I would- Eight! Oh, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? He has the gold. I'm. Oh, that is brutal from you, Tarasenko. That is absolutely brutal. To be fair, kind of on me. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind. Forgot that you had that contract. Okay. Holden, see you later. Released. Bernard Docker, yeah, you're coming back. Sure. We'll give you a short deal here at 1.2. Sounds like a plan to me. Hamannick. I kind of want to give him a contract. Just play him in the AHL. Get the younger guys someone to play with. He's had some experience. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Fair. And Broussard, you are gone. I will release you. Sokolov is coming back because he's only 23. Two years at 1 million sounds fair to me. There you go. Gambrell. Hmm. I think I'm just going to qualify Gambrell for now. Medium top nine forward is worth bringing back, so I will offer you a contract. Again, I'll give you the two years at one mil. And Watson doesn't want to come back. See you later. Okay. I've offered, I feel like, a lot of the contracts I want to. Are there any players down here that are worth inking? Pedersen, maybe? Oscar, he's medium top nine. Oh, actually, we still have another whole year before we can do that. So I'll leave him for now. Um, hmm, a seventh defender. You're only a nice overall and you're 24. I guess I'll qualify. See what happens there. No, no. Um, no. <laughs> Not bringing you back. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay here for the most part. Sure. Okay, Goche, I will offer you a contract as well. You want a two-way contract? Perfect. I love this guy. We have $9.7 million. I'm going to advance a day. Got him. Let's see if anyone rejects. Easy decision. No. We got everybody. 
Do we want Tarasenko is the question. We have $8.7 million of cap remaining. This is tough. And we still got to get Gustafson. Oh my word. Okay. I think Tarasenko is off limits. We can't get him. Which is very sad. I would have traded him. But I wanted to have that push. Ferguson or... Which one should we get? I don't want to get both. You're listed as a low backup. So you know what? I'm going with Ferguson. Offer a contract. There you go. I can find a better goalie in free agency, okay? We don't really need to worry about him. Gustafson, I am going to bring you back. Oh my, you're price gouging me. I'll give you $5 million for two years. And let's sim a day. Easy decision, easy decision. So now we have $4 million left. We cannot physically sign Tarasenko. That's brutal. Yeah, he's going to free agency. We could make trades and pick him up in free agency again, but... Maybe there will be other players that fit the team. I can hope anyway. Giroux still locked up for a couple. Same with Chikrin. Okay. Well, it is time to simulate to free agency. Troy Terry hitting the market as an RFA. So probably not going to go after him. Bergeron is here. 91 overall. Jeez. Okay. Well, I mean, he retired, but not in this world, I suppose. Let's actually go and sort by UFA. I'm not going after any RFAs because we don't have draft picks. So that is simply not a possibility. Phil Kessel wants 4.5. He must have had a year. Up to 85 overall. Look at this guy go. Come on, Phil. David Krejci wants 5.8. Wowzers. Two? People are interested at $9 million. Hello? Two people are interested in Kalorn at eight? What am I missing? I'm thinking I might go after Bertuzzi. He wants five years, which is a lot, but he's 84 overall, 28, and he has three abilities, which is pretty huge. I was going to go after Phil for the one-year deal, but... I feel like Bert's the better option because he's younger, got the abilities. Sure, he's not a sniper, but he's left wing slash right wing. Fits on either side. Let's give it a shot. We got 4.5 million. I'm pretty much going to offer you exactly what you're looking for here. 4.55. Five, five. Yeah. All right. Offer contract. If it doesn't work out, we'll go with Phil. I feel like he'll still be there. Advance a day. Come on, Bertuzzi. Come to the Ottawa Senators. No! Oh, they offered him more, didn't they? Absolute snakes. You know what? I am going to be a bit of a snake myself. I'm not going to sign anyone right now. And I'm going to wait for next season. Because there's no way all these players sign somewhere. And I will get them cheaper because there will be nobody interested. That is my guess. I feel like that actually does happen in this game. Let's sim to the next season, and as soon as we get there, I'm going to sign a free agent. Here we go. This could be big brain. This could be really dumb. We're going to learn today. I should also make sure that all of our scouts are still signed. And our coaches are still there. Maybe there will be an A coach. That would help big time. Let's go to done. And let's sign some free agents, shall we? Actually, you know what? Let's edit the lines and see what we need first. How about that? Brandstrom is scratched. Wow. That is something. And you know what? Our defensive chemistry is actually pretty good. It's not great, but it's definitely not bad. And we've got Thompson, who's 80 overall, listed as a medium top four. The chemistry's there. Maybe we should trade Brandstrom. Maybe it's time to move on from him because it's clearly not working out. We could also get rid of Bernard Docker, evidently. We have way too many defensemen. So, we gotta try to figure out what's going on with the depth here. In net, we have... I am all over the place right now. I apologize. Gustafsson and Forsberg. Very nice. Alright, what can we do about this? And on top of that, what should we do 
about this. Brandstrom does not even cut the first pair when I send them down to the miners. <laughs> that is bad. Could do that move, but do I really want to? I don't know. That's a rough go. In net, we should have Mads. Yep, backed up by Ferguson. Beautiful. I guess we could go to scratch and just see if there's anybody who we should throw in there. Um, maybe? But if we get rid of Brandstrom, I guess he kind of just slots in there, so... Yeah, I want your guys' opinion. Should we get rid of Brandstrom? If so, should we go after a draft pick? What should we be aiming for? And we have these two here. Don't really know what to do with them either. Still young. I mean, Hetherington isn't, but Jacob is. So we could play him in the AHL one more year and see what happens. But I feel like our NHL defensive core kind of locked up here. Sure, he could replace Zub. You know what? Maybe we should try that because Zub is... 27. Two-way defender. What are you? Also a two-way defender. You're 80 overall. Listed as a top six defenseman. All right, time out. We're going back to roster moves. I want to see if this works. In the system, Bernard Docker, you're coming back up for now. And let's go back to the edit line screen. We'll just do best AHL lines. That's pretty much what I did anyway. And I want to go to the end. HL, take out Zub, put in Bernard Docker, and it's still a plus one. And we can do that as well. I am going to do that. All right, Zub, you're gone. Down to the miners, you go. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Holy crap, Zub's making 4.6? That is insanity. For four more years? Wow, I almost want to buy him out. That is quite the contract you got there, Zuby. We have 16 of 20 scouts. How many? Okay, so we have two OHL, two WHL, I think three QMJHL. So all the scouts did say, or no, we lost the one QMJHL scout, but that's fine. Um, I'll probably hire another one though. Or should we hire? We have USA Central, USA East. Okay, so maybe we should go after some USA scouts here. AHL, no. QMJHL, I could bring back another Q scout. Where is the USA scouts at? Where are you? There you go. A C minus. Sure, why not? Offer you a contract. Auto scouting is set to both, so we should be okay there. Is there any good coaches that hit the market? Please say yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so we actually need an assistant coach and a goalie coach. Let's hire. We are in the market. B. Nesbitt. You have a 65 team fit. You got a 53. What about our coach, Woodworth? What is your team fit? 61. All right. See you later, dude. <laughs> we are getting rid of you and hiring the 65 team fit. I feel like that's the way to... Oh, but he's an associate coach. Never mind. Would you take the assistant job? <laughs> is that too much to ask? How do I find a goalie coach? Veterans, is there a way to actually just find someone who specializes in netminders? Is that a thing? Generalist, is there going to be any goalie coaches or no? Are we screwed? Okay, there we go. A bunch of D minuses, some E's. Splendid. Oh yeah, these guys are killing it. C minus, Fontaine. There's another C- minus there. 63% team fit. That's pretty good. A 65% team fit. Now we're cooking. You know what? I'm not even going to look any further. Ricard, you are joining our team as a goalie coach. I hope anyway. And goalie coach? No, not AHL. Wait a minute. AHL associate coach. Well, congrats. You're getting a promotion to be the NHL goalie coach. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. That is the... Assistant coach, he said yes, so that's huge. Or wait, no, these are the scouts, crap, not the coaches. Oh, wait, what, we had you before? Um, all right, chill out, man. Jeez, I don't feel you've offered me, come on. That is ridiculous. You guys both suck, both of you. Finally, our coaching staff is filled out. We have a goalie coach. We've got our assistant coach now. Yeah, 
All set. Beautiful. I could hire an AHL assistant coach. I probably will do that, actually. 75 chemistry is beautiful. I will sim up to the regular season just because, there we go, we've got our AHL assistant coach. Preseason doesn't matter, okay? Getting past it, just like we do in the fantasy drafts. And then we will look at our lines again. I wonder if anything is going to change as a result of this coach hiring process. No, we still have a plus three, plus one, and then some dash ones. Oh my word, Formington is a real problem. <laughs> that has got to be addressed. What is going on? That's brutal. Maybe we just need to sign like a depth player to replace Alex. I'm not really sure. Could try trading him away, maybe get a draft pick. He is medium top six, 81 overall. I could move him up and put Kubalik on the third line, which is pretty rude. He is 28. I mean, it's doable. And then that allows Alex to maybe grow this year quite a bit. Yeah, this is a, a tough decision, to be honest with you. So he's a sniper. And then we've got two two-way forwards. Jimmy Superstar, Playmaker. Yeah, so we don't really have a first line sniper at the moment. Could be problematic. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so Bernard Docker, move you down. Let Thompson play on the second pair with Jake Sanderson. In net, we've got Gustafson. Let's just have a look at free agency. So you guys have seen our roster. I'll show the AHL roster here as well. And preferred. There you go. Anyone that should be moved up. Yarventi, medium top nine. You're medium top six, so you can stay there. You're a bottom six. Can you play center? <laughs> sure you can. No, I will... Medium top nine as well. Yeah, I don't want to move you down because you're medium top six. Keep you there as well. You know what? Darventi, you'll survive. Yeah, screw it. You can stay there. Defense. You got Zoo playing with Hetherington. Brandstrom with our boy Tyler. Who I kind of want to move up. I think I am going to do that. Yeah, 100%. Because he's a minor top two. That works out. And in net, we have same situation. Okay. Let's go to free agency real quick. Um, we know our situation. We know that Formenton is causing some problems on that third line. And we know that Brandstrom could go. Should we try to trade for draft picks? Should we try to get... I don't know. Uh, sniper that we could put on the first line. Let's see who's available in free agency still. And here we go. All right. What do we got here? Oh, my word. Uh, they did. They did, in fact, all go somewhere. So we're screwed. Uh, that's my bad. That's a rookie GM move right there. Really? Well, let me know what you think we should do. I think our first line is okay, but again, we don't really have a sniper. I guess Jimmy did score some goals last year, so it's still possible for him to light the lamp. Our second line is still going to be growing. Maybe we'll be a team that misses the playoffs again in year two, and then year three is where we really make our push. If we play Alex on this line, I mean, it's possible. Igor could even grow. He's medium top nine sniper and could get some depth goals. Defensively, we're going to grow. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think we should just run with it like this, but I want to get your guys' input. In an interesting development, I can play Brandstrom up here in the NHL instead of Hamannick, and it's still a plus one. So I will do that. Yep, I'll be awaiting your guys' feedback, input on the situation. And I will see you in the next one.